Hey there traders, welcome back to your daily trading and market recap where we trade the E-mini futures. The levels you see on this chart of the SPY will be our baselines for entering trades in the E-mini futures today during the open session. Check out the description below this video to learn more about the mission of this channel and some background on this trading strategy. My name is Sam. Today is Friday, October 11, 2024. It is about 13 minutes after 8 a.m. Eastern as I'm making this video. In the overnight session, the futures have moved price around a bit. There are data releases at 8.30 a.m. and 10 o'clock. These are worth being aware of, especially the 10 o'clock one, because the market will be in the middle of settling in at that time. Not saying it will happen, but it's possible for there to be increased volatility around that time. We'll come back to this chart after the closing bell to talk about what happened and to analyze any trades taken as a result of these levels. Catch you on the other side. Had a nice little push on Friday. I'm making this video the next day, Saturday, October 12. So what would you have done with the levels we had this morning? I did not trade all day. I'm on a kind of a quick three-day vacation in the Outer Banks. But we'll zoom in here and talk about what you could have done. First off, the 15-minute rule is a good example here of why that works pretty well most of the time, not always. But they opened down here and quickly got above this first level, 576.50. So if you had gone short the first time SPY hit this, that would have been pretty bad because they never bounced down. They got above it. And so once they kind of settle in, that's the time to start looking to take a long position. But 945, they were already above this level and didn't really look back for the rest of the day. So this level is off the table. So the next level, 577.86, they're coming up into that. If you had this adjusted down with a five cent buffer, it'd be 577.81. And now this happened fast. So if you had an order in your system, to sell e-mini contracts the moment the SPY hit 577.81. And if you're ready to grab a four point or so base hit, then that was entirely possible. This did the same thing on the e-mini charts, correlated pretty well. That was your clue. If you did, if you would have missed this, that's that would have been your tell that that was your chance to take the short trade next time the spiders were to get to this level. You don't want to mess with this level. So that's the trade. We can go ahead and count that as a base hit. When they got to it again a few minutes later, they just powered through. Now, I'm not going to adjust a zone like this, this zone here, because I don't know where within this zone that they might find resistance. So typically I would sell somewhere in the middle or at the extremes. Just so you know, every trade that we track in the log, playing by the rules log, would treat zones like you're just going to sell or buy at the extremes. In this case, you would have sold 578.82. They continue to climb immediately into 579.22. Just to verify the high of this was 579.24. They pulled back pretty quickly from the top part of this zone, but not enough for a base hit. Your average entry price would have been right in the middle, 579.02, give or take. So you're looking for a pullback of 40 cents in the SPY, four points in the minis, and they never made it. So they would have gone higher. So there's a fumble threshold in this area that you're looking for certain closes above a certain amount of time, and that didn't happen. They came down. The problem is, so you would have been safe just riding this thing up. Now, there was a kind of a safety net up here, right, at 580. Now, it wasn't on the board from this morning. It was on the board from yesterday, still an important area. Just, if anything, just a nice number, a nice round number, 580. It's the kind of thing that would attract algorithms and just kind of human psychology, trader psychology, that odds are they're not going to just push through it. It wasn't a calculated level from a Friday morning, but it was a safety net. So I'm just mentioning that because it was just kind of a, another way, whether you would have been willing to sell again up here to average in or just understand that you're likely to hit some type of overhead resistance. Well, they pulled back got back below the average entry level, right around 579.02, but not enough to make a base hit. It came up short. This is like your profit targets down here. They came up within a certain amount. Let's see, the low was 578.70. What you would have needed is them to come back to around 578.62 or so. That would have been a base hit of four points from your average entry, and they didn't do it. That was a kind of a near miss of that profit objective. So, when you, you have that type of behavior, they're above this area. Plus, don't forget that if you're still in this trade and they're coming back down, this is a the time for a recycle trade. So this whole zone now is gonna should act as support. Enough time had elapsed from when they got out of this zone to when they got back into this zone. So now is the time to consider taking a long trade. I mean, had you taken a long trade at this point, you would have got a, a base hit on that combined position. But you're still in this trade at this point with the expectation or the understanding that they got above pretty quickly on this 10 o'clock data release. That was when the, the real move started. They got above this whole zone, did not act as proper resistance. Do you want to continue to wait this thing out when they missed your profit objective by 
10 cents or so? Probably not considering this area is now viable for a bounce in the upward direction. So what I would call this would be a near miss of your profit objective. It came down, almost gave it to you, back up at your entry point, kind of hover around this area. I would have probably jumped out if I were in this trade, but honestly, I'm, you know, hindsight is 2020. I wasn't trading away from my computer all day and most of the today actually, but knowing that 580 was important, I probably would have sold up here again. I, there's been plenty of recordings. You've seen me make these type of trades, wait it out and then get rewarded after some time because I just know kind of what to look for. And knowing that there's some overhead resistance, this whole general area isn't just going to let price just go on through and continue higher. This is a wash. This is essentially a come back to your entry level. They go below. Don't give you the base hit. Come back up to your entry point. Jump out at a wash. That whole zone is now off the table for any future trades. Since we had a weekly close, we might as well look at the weekly chart. Nothing obvious on this weekly chart in terms of any type of signals of a trend change. Now, timing is important. It could be get somewhere where we start looking for something. But, you know, the weekly chart takes some time to play out. And it's been bullish for quite a while on the daily chart. Same thing, just a decent push, relatively speaking. But we need to start looking for something. I do have some levels above here in the longer term where there could be some type of destination, but um, it's really uncharted territory. By Monday morning, I'll have more refined levels. We'll talk about what the, at least the day might look like for some intraday trades. Over here on the hourly chart, we have this big push that happened around the 10 o'clock time frame. This is kind of creating like a bullish flag pattern. Now think about this. This big break up candle, they could come all the way down to the bottom of this and it's still intact for a move higher out of this area unless they get hourly closes below the low of this candle. The low of this candle is 579.78, so somewhere in that neighborhood, 579.50, say whatever. You see hourly closes below this, then below some other areas. This bullish consolidation chart pattern is off the table. Unless something crazy happens, they're still bullish. You can read the notes. This is the playing by the rules log. First level at 576.50, not triggered because it was within 15 minutes of the opening bell. 577.86, there's your base hit. Average then of these two, jumped out of wash if you could manage that at zero or maybe somewhere in the negative, maybe somewhere in the positive. Hard to say. I didn't take the trade, so I can't say for sure. But if you were strictly adhering to the rules, then four E-mini points could have been possible if you were paying attention. And just to show you over here on the Sam's Trades log, nothing. Didn't take any trades. Here are the four levels that were hit, so no points today. So that's a wrap for today and the week. Thanks for tuning in to the recap. Hope you learned something. I wish there was some trades to show you, but just taking a vacation. Every now and then I need a day off. But I'll come back to it on Monday with new levels, another game plan. And we'll try to narrow down some areas that could provide some intraday trades. Thanks again. Talk to you next time. Have a great rest of your day.